up, fellow travelers? Mark here with Walter's World, and today we are here for the running of the roses, the Kentucky Derby. We're here at Churchill Downs, the home of the Kentucky Derby. And no, I'm not here on race day because look, there's space and not a crazy amount of people. And what I want to give you today, or if you're going to go to the Kentucky Derby, these are the don'ts and do's of visiting the Kentucky Derby. And I think the first thing you need to realize when you're coming to Derby is that the Kentucky Derby, the whole celebration, isn't just the first Saturday in May. It actually starts a couple weeks beforehand with parties and concerts throughout the city. They have the Thunder over Louisville, which is the largest fireworks display in the US, happens here to kind of start off the festivities. So even if you can't get tickets to go to you know, the Kentucky Derby, you might wanna come earlier, like a week or two before, to enjoy the festivities that are here, okay? And if you're looking to come and you do wanna be here for Derby, my next stone for you is, don't wait to book accommodation and make reservations for places to eat and stay, okay? Because since so many people come here, like they get 150,000 people in there to enjoy Derby, okay? And so with that, hotels fill up, Airbnbs fill up, VRBOs fill up, campgrounds fill up, from here to Lexington and all over, you wanna make sure that you are booking that accommodation beforehand. And that means the restaurants as well, because they book out as well. And you wanna enjoy the good stuff here, like, you know, the hot brown and other fun, tasty things like the, the fried chicken. You know, it's Kentucky, you gotta have the Kentucky fried chicken, you know, fried chicken from Kentucky. But honestly, that is gonna make such a difference in your trip by just having these things booked out beforehand. Now, going along with the, you know, it's not just the first, you know, Saturday in May, my next don't is don't think the excitement is only a two minute you know horse race. There are multiple races that go on during the day here on that first Saturday in May. So you can see like 13 races and no, they don't do the actual Kentucky Derby, the very last one, because then it would be total insanity. Everyone leaving after that race. There's a few more after it. So uh, just have a heads up for that. Oh, also, don't think there's only races on Saturday. The Oaks, which is a fantastic race to watch, is actually on the Friday before. So you can go to the Oaks on Friday, dress in pink, of course, and then Saturday is the running of the Kentucky Derby. Now, when you're coming to Derby, one thing you gotta think about as well, not just accommodation, not just food, but also is parking. Look, there is not a ton of parking here. Like, you're not gonna get, like, right, right, right here you're not gonna get those spots, okay? But you might see that some of the houses around here will actually, you know, rent out a spot to you for some money during race day. Or you might wanna take an Uber or a Lyft in or a taxi in, but getting them out can be a bit troublesome, let's say. So you do wanna kinda have your parking entry exit plan already set up beforehand. Now, when you are here, you're gonna be getting your tickets to go. My next stone for you is don't buy your tickets to the Kentucky Derby from anywhere else except for the official Kentucky Derby website. Go to the Churchill Downs website and get your tickets there because you have to have your physical tickets with you. You have to you know, show them to go in. There's no at will or call window here to pick them up. You have to have them with you. So do have that kind of prepared and, and don't think all tickets are the same would be my next one. You might wanna get a ticket that has some food or drink kind of included in it. It'll be more expensive, of course, but it might make your trip here and your enjoyment of Derby a little bit better. And, and I think one of the things you need to know to make your enjoyment factor a bit better here is don't forget to place your bets as soon as you get here because the betting lines can get kind of long later on and that can get a bit frustrating when you're waiting there smushed together and you're not sure if it's gonna be super hot when you're here or kind of cold when you're here. Look, just go and bet and then your bets are in and then you can go enjoy, whether you're in the infield or you're in the grandstands, you can have a good time not worrying about getting those bets placed. You already have it done. Now I mentioned the infield. I think another important thing that you need to know is don't think that the Kentucky Derby is just all high fancy and fancy hats. No, the infield is a huge party when you're here. So don't think you have to be all, you know, suit tie and the fancy hat for a man and the fancy dress and the fancy hat for women. Yes, you should do that if you're gonna do it. That's totally fine. But you can go have fun in the infield for a fraction of the price of going to some of those fancy booths up top, all right? And whether you're in the infield or you're gonna be in the grandstands, my next stone for you is, don't forget to bring a little bit of like maybe some tissues or some toilet paper with you because with 150,000 people, yeah, they have plenty of toilet paper there, but it's not always like your stall is gonna be full of toilet paper. So you might want to bring your own just in case. Oh, another thing not to forget when you come here, 
don't forget to bring sunblock because that sun will beat down on you. And this is an hours long thing. And if you're sitting there having your mint juleps or your lilies or just enjoying yourself, you can get burned pretty bad. So have the sunblock and make sure you put it on and reapply it as well. Now, speaking of those mint juleps, if you're not sure, the mint julep is the official drink of the Kentucky Derby. And what a mint julep is, is bourbon, hello, we're in Kentucky, simple syrup and mint. And it is super strong. And I'll be honest with you, not a lot of people like them because it is super strong. So maybe just have one of those and then switch to a, a, an old fashioned or, or maybe have a lily, which is another drink you can have here, which is vodka, lemon and lime juice, cranberry juice, and some orange liqueur. I actually like that. And if you're here when it gets really hot, man, those lilies can really like uh, help you kind of calm down. So, so have that, but yeah, have one mint julep, but don't expect you're gonna really love them. Now, my next thing I need to kind of tell you when you do come here is you need to remember that you don't call the Kentucky Derby, the Derby, it's just Derby. It's like, we're going to Derby. Oh, where are you gonna be sitting at Derby? Oh, are you in the infield at Derby? There's no article with it, it's just Derby. I mean, you can say the Kentucky Derby, that's fine, but you don't say the Derby, you just say Derby, okay? Now, another thing I think you need to realize is when you're coming to the Kentucky Derby, um, you have to kind of think of this as a marathon. It's not, remember I said, it's not just that two minutes of excitement, it's a whole day thing. So don't forget to pace yourself with those mint juleps and other drinks because it can kind of, oh, by the end of the day, ugh. You, you could be in a world of hurt, all right? And, and speaking of world of hurt, ladies, if you're gonna be bringing, wearing high heels here, don't forget to bring some foldable flats that you can switch into later, because do you really wanna stand for, you know, four, five, six hours in heels? You might wanna switch out, and you'll see when it finishes at the end of the day, you'll see a bunch of people with their heels over their shoulders, which go fantastic with those hats. And that's one thing is, don't forget to have fun when you come here. Wear the big hat if you're gonna have it. Wear the fancy outfit if you're gonna come. Enjoy that when you're here. Live it up because this is what the city lives for. The Kentucky Derby is like the shining light in the year here in Louisville. And it's something that you really should enjoy and the whole city enjoys, so go for it. Get the craziest hat you can find and just own it. Just own it when you come here. It's so much fun. And when you're having that fun, I think another thing is important for me to tell you is um, for paying for that fun, don't forget to bring a lot of cash, okay? You'll see ATMs around here, but there'll be lines. I would come with plenty of cash to pay, place your bets, to get your drinks, to get your food, so you're not waiting for a credit card or anything like that. You've got it kind of all under control, so bring cash when you're here. Don't forget it. Now, for those of you that can't come to the Kentucky Derby and you just want to visit during the rest of the year, another don't I have for you is don't forget there's actually the Kentucky Derby Museum you can go see. And you actually do a tour and you get to walk the grounds, see the paddock where the horses are kind of there when they check in. You get to go and see the track. You're like right up on the track, see some horses practicing. It's really cool. So don't skip the museum, but I will say this, don't expect to enjoy the museum on Derby Day because it's so full of people that you can't really take it all in. And they've got fantastic stories. There's a great movie they show you when you're there. So, so just have a heads up. Now let's talk about some kind of administrative issues that you should know about when you're coming to the Kentucky Derby. One is don't think you can leave and come back. They don't really allow re-entry when you come here. Um, so make sure you have everything with you when you're going in the first time, okay? And then they have the usual don'ts for advance, you know, don't have selfie sticks. Don't think you can have drones in here. Don't bring any weapons. Don't bring any drugs. You know, the usual kind of things. You don't take places anyway. They have the signs up here to tell you that. And, and honestly, I think the most important administrative thing you need to plan out is don't forget to use the restroom anytime you can. When that line doesn't look too long, just go. Just go. Because with all the people that are here, sometimes it can get a little hard to find the restroom or a spot in a restroom or a line that you can actually oh, wait in long enough to, to get to the bathroom. So do go early and often when you've got to go potty, okay? Um, and yes, have your TP with you, but save that TP, okay? Use what's there, what it is for later on, you might be in trouble, all right? So if you are going to be betting here, I mean, there's literally tens of millions of dollars of cash flowing through here with all the bets. Um, one thing I would say is, don't bet if you don't feel comfortable, okay? Make sure you read up. What is, what is, what's show mean? What's place mean? 
figure out what everything means so when you're going out there you know how to bet and what to bet and they do have a lot of information here to help you know how to bet correctly there's also a lot of things if you have a betting problem they have a lot of signs to help you with a phone number to call to help you out with it but i think one of the things that i hear a lot is if someone is in post one the first post this is right on the rail the dreaded rail as they call it they usually don't have a lot of luck because they kind of get pinned there so there's my betting advice for you, but don't take it seriously because I don't bet. So, but something I've heard from my stays here. So my last don't when talking about coming to Churchill Downs and enjoying the Kentucky Derby is don't think coming to Derby is going to be cheap. If you want to go there, whether it's the tickets, the food, the drinks, the betting, these things are expensive. It is not free to enjoy this. Okay. If you want to get free stuff, Watch the fireworks on the river. Take the concert stands that are out on the waterfront, the riverfront downtown in Louisville. But don't think it's going to be cheap. You know, oh, that 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 hot dog, that fancy hot dog, that lobster roll. Yeah, you might send you back twenty bucks. Okay, so just be ready to spend, spend, spend you when you're here, because that's part of horse racing. It is not a cheap endeavor to go watch and enjoy when it comes to the Kentucky Derby. All right, so have a heads up for that. And oh yeah. Don't forget to enjoy Louisville when you're here for Derby. There's a bunch of great museums when you're here. Obviously, you've got the Bourbon Trail that passes through that you can enjoy. Fantastic things to do, eat, and love when you're here. Hit up the Brown Hotel and have a hot brown, the food of Louisville. But honestly, whether you're having the Mojescas, the candy that's here, you have a mint julep, or you're catching your flight out to go home, I hope you have a great time here for Derby. So I hope like your don'ts of visiting the Kentucky Derby. I hope you have a great time. I hope you win when you're here. And don't worry, you can enjoy visiting Churchill Downs and the Kentucky Derby Museum all year round. Not just that first weekend in May, but it is a pretty cool time to be here. Bye from the Kentucky Derby.